This video covers an application of matrices, which is solving simultaneous equations. Now, probably previous to this, you have solved simultaneous equations by hand using either, either the substitution or elimination method. We now are going to do this using matrices, and this becomes very useful for large numbers of um, simultaneous equations. So for example, if you had three or four or five, where by hand, uh, it becomes very difficult. Uh, if we if we get the handle of how, how to do it using matrices and also how we use our calculator, it actually becomes quite straightforward. Okay, let's, let's start by looking at this example here. An order of five cups of coffee and three cups of tea cost $16.25, so $16.25. So let's just write this out as an equation. So five coffees plus three teas is equal to 16.25. Now we are told that the next day, an order of two coffees and eight teas costs $15 even. So this will be two coffees plus eight teas is equal to $15. And we are asked to find how much does each cup of coffee and tea cost? So this is a classic uh, simultaneous equations question. Now first step I'm going to do here is actually convert my two equations from algebraic form into matrix form. So let's just have a look at that. It'll be a two by two coefficient matrix. So that five, three, two, and eight. They're all my coefficients of my unknowns. The next matrix will be a two by one uh, uh, unknown matrix or variable matrix. And my two unknowns are C and T for coffee and T. And that will equal my answer matrix. It's actually called a um, constant matrix. So this will be 16.25 and 15. Now, if you're not sure why we were allowed to just do this, well, try multiplying out these two matrices on the left-hand side. So this two by two by two by two by one, if you use your matrix multiplication skills, you'll actually find that it turns into what we had at the start anyway, this algebraic form. Okay, but now that I have it in matrix form, I can go ahead and solve this uh, so, simultaneous equations example using matrices. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this example here now and go across to the theory on the left-hand side. Let's just, let's just cover a little bit of theory and then the right-hand side example will start to make sense. Let's go right back to simple algebra. If I was to ask you, let's say I have three X equals 12. So this is right back to the start of senior school, the uh, where we're introducing algebra. How do I find out what x is equal to? Well, we need to isolate x, and the way that we do that for this example is to divide both sides of my equation by three, and I will get x is equal to 12 on three, which is four. Now, let's say we, so this is sort of standard algebra. Let's, let's now do the same process, but for matrices. Let's say I have a matrix A, and I have some unknown, which we'll call x, is equal to some answer b. Now, if we think through the same process, well, you'd say, well, why don't we divide both sides of this equation by a to try to get my unknown x by itself? But we can't divide matrices, so we need to do a different technique. And that technique is as follows. We are going to pre-multiply both sides of our equation by the inverse of a. So let's have a look at that. It'll be the inverse of A multiplied by A multiplied by our unknown matrix. And that will be equal to, I need to also pre-multiply. But when I say pre-multiply, it's multiplying, but pre, it's so on the left-hand side. And that actually is quite important with matrices because it does matter what order you multiply two matrices together. Okay, I've just gone back there, and just to be super clear, I've just labeled what each of my three matrices mean. So in this starting line here, my, my capital letter A is my matrix of coefficients. So for my example here, this is my two by two, five, three, two, eight, which represents the number of cups of coffee and tea. The lowercase x is my matrix of unknowns, so my variables, what I'm actually trying to find out. So my examples here are C and T for the price of one cup of coffee and tea. And then my lowercase b here is my matrix of, co of constants, which is kind of like my answer, which in, in on my example here is my total price for each purchase on each day. Okay, so then just to recap from my first line to my second line, I can't divide two matrices together. So I can't just use the same technique for basic algebra. So I'm going to pre-multiply 
both sides of my equation by the inverse of a. And the reason that I do that is because, and I'll just write this on the right hand side here, the inverse of a multiplied by a is equal to the identity matrix. So therefore, this next line will be the identity matrix multiplied by my matrix of unknowns, which is equal to, sorry, this here is the inverse. It will equal to the inverse of A multiplied by B. Now, the nature of the identity matrix, it, it acts kind of like the digit one in matrix land. So the identity matrix multiplied by my matrix of unknowns is just simply my matrix of unknowns. So therefore my next line will be my matrix of unknowns, which is what I'm trying to find out will be the inverse of A multiplied by B. So there we have it. We have used this technique to isolate out what my matrix of unknowns is. So using that same process over here on the right hand side, I can use that technique and say, well, my matrix of unknowns, my price for a cup of coffee, and for a cup of tea will equal the inverse of my matrix of coefficients, this left-hand side two by two. So that will equal the inverse of five, three, two, and eight, multiplied by my matrix of constants, which is my kind of like my answer matrix, 16.25 and 15. Now here, you could try to do this by hand. You'll need to find the inverse of this two by two, which, would, which wouldn't be too difficult. You need to find the determinants and then, um, and then find the inverse from there and then use matrix multiplication to multiply through the right-hand matrix. However, we are allowed calculators in our exam papers for AI. So I have pre-entered that here. Uh, so I have a two by two matrix raised to the power of negative ones. That's our inverse multiplied by the matrix of constants, hit enter, and I get a two by one uh, so 2.5 times uh, and 1.25. So CT is equal to 2.5 and 1.25. So they are my answers. What this means is a single cup of coffee is equal to $2.5, so $2.50, and a cup of tea is equal to $1.25. So you can see here that if the number of simultaneous equations grows larger, for example, three by three, uh, uh, three equations, three unknowns, four equations, four unknowns, the same process will apply. And if we can use that calculator, it actually is no difficult to what I have just written there. So there we have it. There is an example of solving simultaneous equations using matrices. And this process here is the important process to remember. Pre-multiplying on both sides the matrix of coefficients, the inverse of the matrix of coefficients, realizing that that creates the identity matrix multiplied by the matrix of unknowns, and that essentially isolates the matrix of unknowns, which gets us our answer.